What's behind the yellow sign? RV tips, tricks, and trade secrets for the RV traveler from Mark Pope with RV Education 101. Welcome back to another RV preventive maintenance series video. In today's video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate how to repair and prevent surface rust on your RV. Lots of areas on towable and motorized RVs like the chassis or frame are painted or powder coated when the RV is manufactured. It's not uncommon for the paint or powder coating to separate or start to peel away from the surface. When this happens, surface rust will start to form. And depending on conditions, it can develop into a more serious rust issue. Preventive maintenance for surface rust is to periodically inspect the RV for signs of surface rust and repair it before it can spread and get worse. I mentioned a moment ago that surface rust is typically found on the chassis or frame of an RV. When you inspect the RV for surface rust, you want to look at all the areas you typically might not look at. And when you find surface rust, you want to repair it as soon as possible. Supplies you will need to repair and prevent surface rust. Sandpaper, a sander, masking tape, paper or plastic sheeting, good quality metal primer, good quality paint. The key to repairing and preventing surface rust is in the preparation. You need to remove all the rust prior to repainting the surface. If you don't remove the rust, it will come back through the new paint again. At my shop, I use air tools to remove rust, but we're going to use a small electric sander today since most folks have access to this type of sander. Here's how you do it. The first step is to sand the surface to remove all of the surface rust. You can use a medium grit sandpaper like 180 to start. If you are working on an area of the chassis or frame that can't be seen, the 180 grit sandpaper is all you should need. If you are working on an area that you see all the time, you need to go back over the surface again with a lighter grit sandpaper like 220 to remove any sanding scratches left by the heavier grit sandpaper. After all the surface rust is removed, clean the area thoroughly. I start with compressed air, followed by a wax and grease remover. Now you want to mask off any areas you don't want to paint or overspray to get on when you are painting. You can use paper or plastic sheeting and masking tape to protect these areas. Overspray goes everywhere, so make sure you do a good job here. Now we are ready to prime the surface. This is an important part of the process to prevent future surface rust. Primer adheres to and protects the bare metal surface, and it gives the final paint coating a good surface to bond to. You want to use a good quality primer designed for metal surfaces. Shake the can thoroughly and then hold the can about 6 to 8 inches from the surface and start to apply the primer. Make one pass and on the return pass overlap about 50% of the first pass. Avoid spraying paint when you are not moving the can, that's how runs in the paint start. After the entire section is primed, let it sit until it's almost dry and then apply a second coat of primer. Tip: To prevent the nozzle from clogging, turn the can upside down and spray until no paint comes out. After the primer is completely dry, I like to sand the surface lightly with fine sandpaper. This final sanding really helps the paint adhere to the primed surface. Clean and prep the surface again for painting. You want a good quality paint for this final stage. Make sure everything is still masked properly, shake the paint thoroughly, and apply the paint in the same way the primer was applied. After the first coat is almost dry, apply the second and final coat of paint. Let the paint dry and remove all the masking material. This is a good weekend project and it's good preventive maintenance to stop a problem before it gets worse. To learn more about using and maintaining your RV, visit RVOnlineTraining.com. Happy camping.